Hello, everybody. My name is always is Comical Ninja, and welcome to another episode of Morrowind. We're back here with Azura Jr. Um, before we start the video, I'd like to ask you to please consider subscribing to the channel for more Morrowind and Elder Scrolls content every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. But uh, yeah, we're here in Tamriel Rebuilt doing our final look um, on the mod as I explored a large majority of the area. Uh, I went up here to Port Talonis last episode. We went all the way down here to the Indurel um, areas. Came up to the Ebon Tower and stuff in Ebonheart. And we haven't checked up here, but this place isn't um, complete. I might do like a little episode, a mini short, just showcase of that area. But there is literally nothing to do. But um, the plan for today's episode is to go to the burial sites of most of the Dark Elves in this land. In the city of Necrom, which is situated around there. I'm in Port Selvanis uh, from last episode where we left off. But uh, I need to go and ride this disgusting beast known as a River Strider uh, to get to Necrom. Well, this is Necrom and this looks nice. It is some limestone maybe. I don't know. Uh, welcome to the City Above Necrom, Outlander. My name is Teladril Nothro. Here dwell the living guardians and servants in the temple. Whilst the catacombs of Necrom, our dead are interned and the ancestors make their habitation. So, Necrom is actually two cities in one. There is the City of the Living, where I am right now, um, above the catacombs. And the catacombs themselves are the City of the Dead. So we might go and, uh, check that out. Hello, sir. Uh, I'm afraid all our rooms are occupied. Yes, I will buy some Sujama. Yes, Sujama. That's good for me. I can get drunk off Sujama. Drank it all. Which makes my uh, strength really bad. Or really good. It makes my uh, intelligence bad. I'm just going to look around Necrom. Hopefully you guys enjoy as well. Because this city is pretty cool. And then there is you who is crying. Are you are you okay? What? Ordinator in mourning. Have no trouble in the city above Necrom. We're up here in the temple with all the sad people. Uh that is somebody that isn't cool enough basically to be worshipped. And that's a ghost. Is it going to attack me? Should I attack it with gold brand? Will I get arrested if I attack it with gold brand? That's the important thing. I should just save. You fine? Can I speak to you? No? Okay, I killed an ancestor. Did I kill your grandfather or something? I don't know. Just suppose, of course, before anybody notices. So I just vacuumed some ashes off the ground. Could go into here. If this is the same place I came out of. This is the lower city. Oh. Oh. Sure. This is the catacombs. I'm a bit scared. I don't want to die. Oh no, this sounds weird. Can I not enter this place? Okay. So I, I can't enter the oath to the ancestors. Before the spirits and my lords, I, Azura Jr., request entry into the house of ghosts. As your guest, I shall, I shall neither steal, nor damage, nor speak ill of the undying glory, lest my bones be forever forfeit. My name be spurned, and my spirit find no refuge in the hall of the deads. Uh, take the oath. Oh, uh, this is cool. This is actually really interesting. Is there some dead people? Okay, this is like ear rape. Some cure paralysis. This isn't stealing, right? Oh, wait, can someone catch me? Uh, I'm not going to risk it. I'm scared that I'm going to get attacked by a ghost. Like uh, Lysandus and Daggerfall. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Corpse. With a steel longsword. That's cool. An axe. Okay, so this is like where they bury their dead. Okay. Wait, what was this place called? The second chamber. This is even creepier. Oh, and there's a head inside of a prism. Okay. A lot of urns. Oh, I want that. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna come back in later on and just try to steal. 
Okay, I think I'm in the third, so I'll head on to the fourth. And oh, there's a there's a human here. Hello. Uh, let faith be your only Walk law. Silence and in humility, hasty outlander. You're a bastard. But you're crying, so I'll let you off today. Okay, this is a cave. Old caverns. I wasn't even planning on going in here like this early on. I was planning to do a quest or two. But uh, we found it, and these are mummies. Oh, this is weird. I'm just uh, doing some parkour beside my dead friends. And you got some boiling water beside your skulls, sir. Is this civilization? The second chamber. Okay, we're back. Yeah, but back to you. Oh, amazing prism. Let me just leave. Nope. That's the third. Okay, well, I'm back. I'm not in Necrom or the city on below anymore. I am going to look around for quests and we'll meet back once um, I find one. I've been looking for a quest, and I stumble upon this place, which looks like it's important. So we're going to go and head in to the temple pathway. And there's water around like uh, Vivex Cantons. And this is the courtyard of the temple. This is cool. That was a nice sound of the gate closing. And who is the lucky one that gets this place? Let's see, is it Amalexia, Vivek, Sothasil? All three of them, of course it is. Banner of the Exodus, what's that? Upon this banner, the children of Veloth march onto their new home in the Sacred East. Okay. And I you out, are like saying praise be to the ancestors. Sothasil's mastery. Amalexia's, I don't know, loving touch. So whatever it's gonna be on the other side. And this is locked. Can Watch I get it. in? You'll have no trouble in the city above. The temple Necron. vault is off limit, pilgrim. Move along. Uh we when we are better friends, ask again. Okay. There's hundred gold. Very well. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. Is forbidden to the uninitiated Imperial. Do I have to join the temple then? Makes sense. I probably won't join the temple, but, uh, you know, if I did, then this would be the first place where I'd go. And my game gets laggy when I go out into these big areas. But, uh, yet again, I'm going to go back, um, and try to find a place. What? Okay, I'm sorry. I'll walk like this. It might take me another half an hour just to get out of here, but, nah, it's, you're fine. You are right, you know, be, uh, be humble in front of the shitty ghosts <laughs> or just jump around. Honestly, this is another temple or shrine. This is to the ordinators. Okay. Uh, do you want to make a blessing? Of course. Uh, watchman's vigil. Oh, that's cool. And do you have a quest for me, Vorth? You come to do honor at the shrine. That is good. Would you help an old soldier pay his respects? Sure. I am a soldier of the Great House Indorel, recently returned from a campaign against Reavers on the eastern coasts. Most of my comrades were killed, but there was one in particular, a mer named Udani. He was a very dear friend of mine, and as he lay dying, he gave me these tokens, a ring and a sword, and told me to bring it back to his wife, Emani Udani. It pains me that my duties must keep me here a while longer, and I cannot yet fulfill his wish. Would you perhaps bear these tokens to her? Yeah, I'll do. Uh, I'll fulfill your vow. That eases my heart. Uh, please take these tokens to Umeni Udani. Where is she? As I recall, she lives in Sator, a village on the eastern coast. Uh, follow the road south from Necrom, past Salen, to the Nid Nidothril coast. I still remember the sound of the waves crashing in that little bay. Okay, I'll go and fulfill your wish, sir. I know that Salen is just a boat right away from here, so I will go back to the docks that we came in from. And uh, we're going to go and head off to Satan. Salen, not Satan. <laughs> okay, Silt Strider. We're here. Boat guide didn't work. He wanted to take me all the way up to Port Salvanus, so you can take me to Salen. And then Salen to... What was the place called? 
to say tour. How do I get to say tour? Luckily, it put it on the map for me. And it told me say tour is this way. So I can just go around. You don't know me. I don't know you. So let's keep it that way. Because the only way I know people in this game is uh, by my sword. Given to me by Boethia. The man, woman. Well, I think we've reached Sator. This is the sacred plains where we are right now. Uh, Necrom and Sator in this area. And yeah, we're in Sator. Yeah, we're in Sator. And you're Guar. Can I ride you? I don't know. Sator. Here. Sator. I uh, now I have to go and find Miss Udani, who should live in one of her Udani houses. <laughs> Oslil Indulas. Do I know you? Udani. Hello, Udani. Yeah, you're Imani Udani. Yeah, that's for your name. Uh, this is Vord's tokens. I do not understand. Y you say these these things belong to my husband? My dear, he died in service m m thirty years ago. I thought the guy who was in Necrom was going to be, like, gone out. Because he, he told me, can you deliver it, right? I thought he was out for, like, a week or two, maybe. Stationed. Or a, a month? Even a year would be fine. But 30 years! Uh, okay. Uh, where did you say you came by these items? Uh, Dunmer named Vorith? Uh, but, but, but a child. My husband's name was Vorith Udani. Then his soul has at least found this way to the halls of the Ancestor. Indeed, these tokens are proof of it. Huh? So I spoke to your dead husband. Maybe you should move there. You can live with him. I don't know. Uh, perhaps the time has come. To, okay, to take the... Yeah, she's going to the temples of Necrom. And please uh, take back the sword. It was my husband's once. Served him well. May you have one more use of it uh, than I. I can only thank you again for following his wishes. You brought this old widow some great comfort. Comfort. Well, okay, so you, your husband died 30 years ago, and then he came back to life just to give um, me a sword and some items to give to you, and now you're going to see him again. Makes sense. Okay, this is Morwind. Well, I think we're done. That's enough of my brain getting confused. So, if you guys did enjoy the episode, please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment as always. And uh, hopefully we'll be doing some more Morrowind uh, content. I do have the Daggerfall series going on, which is pretty hard, but I can manage. And uh, we're going to also do some other games, hopefully. But uh, other than that, I would like to wish you guys a happy whenever you're watching this. And uh, goodbye.